I have alluded to plans of taking experiments with the slug pups up to the next level by allowing the test subjects to roam around freely in a less controlled environment. However, there is a slight problem, one that has made major setbacks in development. In the outside world, wild slug pups go into what I call a standby mode. Once they have been spawned in, the slug pups will not move more than one or two rooms away from their original spawn point. They will then simply mill about in that single room and eat anything that happens to come within reach. But other than that, they will do nothing to defend themselves or each other. They are waiting for an adult to pick them up. Only then will they become more proactive and start developing self-sufficiency. Because of these factors, using my overseers to observe their behavior outside simulated test chambers has become inefficient, especially when the test subjects inexplicably decide to split off in opposite directions. There is only one logical solution to this. For the past several cycles, I have begun partitioning sections of my can off to become a sort of sub-region where I can easily keep track of the test subjects. The environments will have their own dangers and obstacles, but I won't have to worry about losing the test subjects down a death pit, or dissolving in vats of caustic acid, or getting themselves stolen by certain interlopers. Of course, all of this will be for nothing if I cannot attach a guardian to the test subjects in order to maintain continuity. I might not have mentioned this before, but unlike the majority of iterators, who were built to cater to the civilian population, part of my can is, or rather, it was, dedicated to the production and distribution of purposed organisms. In other words, I am more than capable of producing the necessary components in order to create my own custom purposed organism to act as a vessel of my will.